welcome to edupedia world in this module we will learn about consumer price index some important index numbers the following index numbers have been regularly published by the government and are used for determining various policy measures consumer price index wholesale price index industrial production index agriculture production index sensex we will study all these index numbers one by one in our coming slides first we will start with consumer price index consumer price index or cpi also known as the cost of living index measures the average change in retail prices the cpi for industrial workers is increasingly considered the appropriate indicator of general inflammation which shows the most accurate impact of price rise on the cost of living of common people consider the statement that the cpi for industrial workers 1982 that is 100 is 526 in january 2005 what does the statement mean it means that if the industrial worker was spending rupees 100 in 1982 for a typical basket of commodities he need rupees 526 in january 2005 to be able to buy an identical basket of commodities it is not necessary that he or she buys the basket what is important is whether he or she has the capability to buy it since the number of commodities is large it is necessary to identify a particular group of consumer and select those commodities which are generally consumed by them the major groups of consumer for whom the consumer price index numbers have been constructed in india are the industrial workers the urban non manual workers and the agriculture laborers in india three cpis are constructed they are cpi for industrial worker we will take 1982 as base cpi for urban non manual employees 1984 to 85 as base year and cpi for agriculture laborers base year will be 1986 to 87 they are routinely calculated every month to analyze the impact of changes in the retail price on the cost of living of these three broad categories of consumer The CPI for industrial worker and agriculture laborers are published by Labor Bureau Shimla. The Center Statistical Organization publishes the CPI number of urban non-manual employees. This is necessary because their typical consumption basket contain many dissimilar items. The weight scheme is CPI for industrial workers. that is 1982 is a base year is taken 100 by major commodity group is given in the following table in this scheme food has the largest weight food being the most important category any rise in the food price will have a significant impact on cpi this also explain the government's frequent statement that oil price hike will not be inflammatory in the table the major groups are food fuel and light housing clothing bedding and footwear miscellaneous group and general thus consumer price index numbers are constructed to measure effects of change in prices of goods and services on real income that is purchasing power of people during a given period of time related to base year consumer price index reflects the effect of the increase or decrease of prices on the cost of living of different classes of people in a society we need to prepare consumer price index because general index numbers fail to highlight the effect of increase or decrease in prices of various goods on cost of living of people we need to prepare consumer price index because different classes of consumers consume different commodities that too in different proportion so this is the meaning of consumer price index
नेक्स्ट वी कम टू कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स नंबर आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इंडेक्स नंबर और रिटेल प्राइस इंडेक्स नंबर द फॉलोइंग स्टेप्स आर ऑब्जर्व टू कंस्ट्रक्ट कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स फर्स्ट सिलेक्शन ऑफ क्लास ऑफ कंज्यूमर द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू डिसाइड द पर्टिकुलर क्लास ऑफ पीपल फॉर होम द इंडेक्स नंबर इज इंटेंडेड सच एज इंडस्ट्रियल वर्कर्स गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉयज लो इनकम और मिडिल इनकम क्लास पीपल एक्सेट्रा इन एडिशन टू द क्लास ऑफ पीपल द कवरेज शुड ऑल्सो बी क्लियरली ईयर मार्क दैट इज द जोग्राफिकल एरिया रूलर और अर्बन सिटी और टाउन एक्सेट्रा इट इज नेसेसरी दैट द सिलेक्टेड क्लास शुड फॉर्म अ होमोजीनियस ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ इनकम एंड हैबिट्स नेक्स्ट इज इंक्वायरी अबाउट द फैमिली बजट द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू कंडक्ट अ फैमिली बजट इंक्वायरी बाई रैंडमली सिलेक्टिंग अ सैम्पल ऑफ एडिक्वेट नंबर ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फैमिली फ्रॉम द क्लास ऑफ पीपल फॉर होम द इंडेक्स इज डिजाइन द इंक्वायरी शुड बी कंडक्टेड इन अ नॉर्मल पीरियड ऑफ इकोनॉमिक स्टेबिलिटी फैमिली बजट इंक्वायरी हेल्प्स इन फाइंडिंग आउट हाउ मच एन एवरेज फैमिली ऑफ दिस ग्रुप spends on different items of consumption commodities are broadly classified into following five major groups food clothing fuel and lighting house rent and miscellaneous each of these major groups are further subdivided into smaller groups termed as subgroups for instance the group food may be subdivided into cereals pulses milk and milk products fruits vegetables etc usually these subclasses are divided still further so that the commodities included in each subgroup are individually mentioned but only those commodities which a group generally consumes are included in the index number next step is information about prices the next step is to collect retail prices it is very important and difficult task the reason is that retail prices vary from place to place shop to shop and even customer to customer there cannot be one formula for collecting the prices but still the following broad principles may be observed the retail prices should relate to a fixed list of items and for each item the quality should be prefixed by suitable specifications retail prices should be those actually charged from consumers discount for cash payment and interest rate for payment should be taken into account in a period of rationing or price control where illegal prices are charged openly such prices should be taken into account along with the controlled prices since prices form the most important component of cost of living indices considerable attention has to be paid to the methods of price collection and to the price collection personnel and the last step is assigning weightage since different items have different importance for different sets of consumer therefore the item should be given weightage according to their relative importance different methods used to construct consumer price index numbers will be discussed in the next slides so these are the basic principles or steps we should be involved while constructing a consumer price index now we come to methods of construction of consumer price index there are two methods to construct consumer price index aggregative expenditure method and family budget method first we will discuss aggregative expenditure method this method is similar to the lespiers method of constructing weighted index to apply this method the quantities of commodities consumed by the particular group in the base year are estimated and these figures are used as weights then the actual expenditure on each commodity for each year base and current are calculated 
following steps are involved in this method this method gives importance to the quantities of the base year we first find aggregate expenditure of the base year for that we'll multiply prices of the base year p0 with quantities of the base year q0 and add it to get aggregate expenditure for the base year that is sigma p0 q0 then we find aggregate expenditure of the current year for that we'll multiply prices of the current year p1 with quantities of the base year q0 and add it to obtain aggregate expenditure of the current year that is sigma p1 q0 then we will divide aggregate current year expenditure sigma p1 q0 by aggregate expenditure of base year sigma p0 q0 and multiply it by 100 to get consumer price index number symbolically it is written p01 equals to sigma p1 q0 divided by sigma p0 q0 into 100 in simple word we use lespierre's method now we come to the next method that is family budget method in this method the family budgets of a large number of people for whom the index is meant are carefully studied then the aggregate expenditure of an average family on various commodities is estimated these values constitute the weights this method gives importance to price relatives the steps involved in this methods are calculate price relatives for the current year p1 divided by p0 into 100 and denoted it by r multiplying the price in the base year p0 with quantity in the base year q0 to calculate the weight of a commodity that is to get w then we'll multiply the price relatives r with weight w of each commodity and obtain its total to get sigma r w then we obtain the sum total of weights to get sigma w we'll apply the following formula p01 equals to sigma r w divided by sigma w it should be noted that both the methods of constructing consumer price index number would provide the same results now we will understand both the methods with the help of an illustration in the coming slide now in this following illustration we have to find consumer price index or cost of living index numbers for the current year from the following data by aggregative expenditure method and family budget method data is given to us commodities a b c d base period is denoted by p0 and q0 and current period is denoted by p1 and q1 so let's start with the solution first we will use aggregative expenditure method for that we'll make a table of two column that is p1 q0 and second one will be p0 q0 in p1 q0 we'll multiply prices of current year with quantity of base year so 4 into 10 40 6 into 12 72 5 into 20 100 3 into 15 comes 45 we will add up the values we will get sigma p1 q0 equals to 257 now in the second column we will write p0 q0 we will multiply price of the base period and quantity of the base period so 2 into 10 20 5 into 12 60 4 into 20 comes 80 and 2 into 15 comes 30 we will add up the values we will get sigma p0 q0 equals to 190 now we will apply the formula of aggregative expenditure method or lespierre's method that is sigma p1 q0 divided by sigma p0 q0 into 100 we will put up the values we will get 135.26 as consumer price index now we come to second method that is a family budget method for this we will need three columns first is for weights second is for price relatives and third will be the product of the both that is r and w so for the weight w is equals to p0 q0 so p0 q0 we will multiply the price and quantity of the base here 2 into 10 20 
फाइव इंटू ट्वेल्व सिक्सटी फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी एटी टू इंटू फिफ्टीन कम्स थर्टी वे विल एड अप द वैल्यूज विल गेट सिग्मा डब्ल्यू इक्वल्स टू वन नाइनटी नाव यू कम टू सेकेंड कॉलम दैट इज प्राइस रिलेटिव आर इक्वल्स टू पी वन डिवाइडेड बाई पी जीरो इन टू हंड्रेड पी वन इज द प्राइस ऑफ द करेंट ईयर एंड पी जीरो इज द प्राइस ऑफ द बेस ईयर सो फोर बाई टू इंटू हंड्रेड कम्स टू हंड्रेड सिक्स बाई फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड कम्स वन ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई फोर इंटू हंड्रेड कम्स वन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड थ्री बाई टू इंटू हंड्रेड कम्स वन फिफ्टी नाउ इन द थर्ड कॉलम विल राइट आर डब्ल्यू दैट इज द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्राइस रिलेटिव एंड वेट ट्वेंटी इंटू टू हंड्रेड कम्स फोर थाउजेंड सिक्सटी इंटू वन ट्वेंटी कम्स सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड एटी इंटू वन ट्वेंटी फाइव कम्स टेन थाउजेंड एंड थर्टी इंटू वन फिफ्टी कम्स फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड वी विल एड अप द वैल्यूज वी विल गेट सिग्मा आर डब्ल्यू इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड नाउ विल अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला ऑफ फैमिली बजट मेथड दैट इज पी जीरो वन इक्वल्स टू सिग्मा आर डब्ल्यू डिवाइडेड बाई सिग्मा डब्ल्यू वी विल पुट अप द वैल्यूज वी विल गेट वन थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट टू सिक्स एज कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स और कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इंडेक्स फॉर द करेंट ईयर As we have seen that in both the method we got the same answer that is one thirty five point two six. And now we come to importance and difficulties of consumer price index. First, we will discuss importance of consumer price index. It is an important index because of the following. First, the consumer price index is used to determine the purchasing power of money and real wages. consumer price index numbers help in wage negotiations formulations of wage policy price policy rent control taxation and general economic policy formulation next point it helps to formulate government policy for example when the consumer price index increases beyond a certain level the government decide to compensate workers by paying them additional money that is the dns allowances the government and business unit use the consumer price index numbers to regulate the da or grant of bonus to the employees in order to compensate them for increased cost of living due to price rise next importance if the prices of certain essential commodities like wheat rice sugar etc increases due to shortages the government may decide to provide them through fair price shops or rationing The CPI are used to measure purchasing power of the consumer in rupees. The purchasing power of the rupee is the value of a rupee in a given year as compared to a base year. The formula for calculating the purchasing power of the rupee is purchasing power equals to 1 divided by CPI into 100. It indicates that the money purchasing power is the reciprocal of the price index. With the increase in prices the amount of goods and services which money wages can buy or the real wages goes on decreasing index numbers tells us the change in real wages real wages can also be determined in the following manner real wages equals to money wages divided by cpi into 100 and the last importance is consumer price index is also used to analyze the market of specific commodities so these are some of the importance of consumer price index now we come to the difficulties in the construction of consumer price index it sometimes become difficult also to construct consumer price index number so let us discuss some of the difficulties in the construction of consumer price index first as different sections of society have different standards of living it becomes difficult to have one consumer price index number for different classes of people next point every family household has a different budget set because proportion of expenditure incurred on a given basket of goods varies from one family to another the reason is that the habits the taste and preferences of consumer keeps changing the ratio of expenditure on different commodities at different point of time and by various persons are not same which creates difficulty in construction of cost of living numbers next point 
Retail prices being used to construct consumer price index also fail to truly express the results because retail price of the commodities are not fixed. These keep changing whenever there is change in demand and supply of these commodities. Retail prices vary from shop to shop, place to place and consumer to consumer. Therefore, index numbers prepared on such prices cannot be used for different places or different classes of people. And the last difficulty is sample of consumers selected to construct index number may fail to truly represent the class if sample selection is not done carefully. So these are some of the difficulties which come in the construction of consumer price index. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.